Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name's Scott and uh, in this video we're going to be recreating or my take on the Quentin Tarantino's classic Pulp Fiction movie burger, the Big Kahuna Burger. So uh, it's uh, I got inspired from uh, the scene where uh, Jules and Vincent are um, shaking up the guys that uh, owe uh, uh, Marcellus Wallace some favours and um, it uh, all gets pretty intense. Fantastic scene, fantastic movie. Uh, it's a real inspiration. But I've always wondered what does the Big Kahuna Burger taste like? Um, as uh, as uh, Samuel Jackson says in the scene, that is a tasty burger. So um, I really wanted to try it out. So this is not the exact recipe what they're, they're proposing that is in the film. Um, I have no idea what that would be. And, um, uh, this is just a take on that whole Hawaiian burger joint vibe. So uh, this is my recipe and um, I hope that you, you enjoy it. Follow along if you want to make one yourself, give it a go. Um, otherwise, uh, let me know your comments in the uh, space below and um, don't forget to subscribe. So without further ado, let's go and uh, get cooking and make a big kahuna burger. Okay, I've got a nice brioche bun, some nice pineapple slices, do those on the grill. We've also got some nice rindless streaky bacon. Oh yeah, bacon. And we've also got some gouda, gouda cheese slices. And we've got also some steak mince. This is 12% fat steak mince that we're gonna do to make our beef patties. Okay, and for the sauce on our burger, I'm gonna use some of this Yoshida's wing and rib spicy sauce, spicy barbecue sauce. And this is brilliant. I get this from Costco, and it's got a kind of pineapple, it's got soy, it's got mirin, it's got um, a bit of sake in there, molasses, pineapple juice. It is very, very good for a shop bought sauce. So uh, it's got that kind of Hawaiian vibe with the pineapple in it, which complements the grilled pineapple that we're gonna put in, and that kind of rice, wine, vinegar kind of taste. Uh, hopefully gonna really complement that big kahuna burger vibe. We're gonna mix that in with some mayonnaise as well. So it gives it a bit of thickness. It's a very thin sauce that Yoshida sauce is a really a marinade sauce. Um, so we're gonna mix it with some mayo to give it a bit of creaminess, but to also give it that kind of thickness that will stick to the burger and the bun and not just squirt out over the edges. That's right, I use the word squirt. So we're going to use a bit of parsley in the burger fixings with the salad and the onions and the, the lettuce just because I fancy a bit of parsley. I really like it. And it goes well in the burger. Okay, we're just going to make our burger patties. So this is 500 grams of mix. This really is going to be a big burger. So I'm probably going to just do half of this, the other half away. Just for another time, we're going to make two really good patties out of this. So just form it a little bit, not too much. I don't want to squish it up too badly because if you squish your mince up too much, it turns into like kind of those like stiff hockey pucks and. Um, we don't want that. We just want to keep them kind of loose so the fat doesn't get compressed too badly. To kind of two even amounts of meat. And we're going to squish it down. Kind of create a nice little beef patty. Like so. Form it round in my hands. It's good. It's one.
on the two. I'm going to season them both up, both sides with salt and pepper. Nice cherished bit of salt. Pepper. Flip them over. Boom. Boom. Same again. Same. Pepper. be sizzling a bit more than it is now but I'm just a bit too excited about cooking this <laughs> so I put it on too early okay so we're just sizzling up some bacon now we're just getting this thing going okay so the bacon's looking pretty much done maybe another couple more minutes and then I'll put it off and get the uh, burgers and pineapple rings on here goes the pineapple rings so we're probably going to do two of these for this burger Bacon grease on there. Move over there, and then we're going to put our steak beef burger patties in the pan as well. Give that on a medium high heat. And we're going to flip them in a, about three or four minutes. And we'll add our cheese. The pineapple rings as well. Okay, now we're going to flip them. Pineapple rings, or let's put them onion rings in. Pineapple rings. Burger. Burger. Okay, now we're going to add our Gouda cheese. Steam it on. So, burn one. Two. Got a pineapple ring on top. Make my little cloche. Yeah, add some water. Okay, I'm just going to toast my buns over the back here. Okay, that's nicely melted. Just take my bun off, put it on the board. Add some parsley. Bacon. Okay, now I'm going to peel the burger. Just some of that lovely sauce that we made up earlier. Made of the uh, Yoshida sauce and mayo. We get a burger. Put that on there. 
we're gonna get there, grab a tape. Sit that on there as well. A bit more parsley. A bit more Rishida sauce. With mayo. Oh yeah. This is gonna be good. Get your lid on. Oh. Mm, that's good. Just gonna get a skewer. There we go. That is my interpretation of the Big Kahuna Burger. Ah, amazing. Two beef patties, bacon, pineapple, cheese, gouda cheese, Yoshida sauce, all on a delicious brioche bun. That is the big kahuna burger.